Hi, welcome to the Ask Patrick series. Today's question is, what is the difficulty level of con question in different exams like the CAT, SAT, SNAP, and MAT, IFT, etc. So let me look at these five exams which I mentioned just now. Okay, just for the con section. Now, if you look at the CAT and SAT, is supposed to be at a similar level of difficulty. A little tougher, but similar level. I mean, normally the difficulty level is high because they are more logical in nature. A lot of people do a mistake in CAT and ZAT preparation. They think it's mathematical and they focus on mathematics when they prepare. Formula sheets, mugging up formula, etc. But no, a CAT and ZAT questions are tough because they're a little logical in nature. You need to think through the question to answer the questions. So in which case, when you're preparing for CAT and ZAT, which is considered to be a tougher set of questions in CONT, you need to try to build on your logical ability while solving. So try to go about logic. On the other extreme exams like SNAP, NMAT, maybe CMAT, maybe TESS, etc., their questions in count are comparatively very easy. More of speed based tests to solve it fast. So, see the sum, try to know, for, know how to solve it and solve it. There also, shortcut methods do help. If you can use the options, you can substitute values, it does help to be fast. So, the methods that you use for CAT does help in the uh, other exams, the easier exams also. But yes, you need to be quick out there. You need to be able to read the questions quickly, understand it quickly, and then solve it immediately. The questions are comparatively simple, a little less logical, but yes, the methods that are used for logical based questions can be applied for the speed based questions. IFT is somewhere in between, maybe between the other SNAP and MAT, etc., and between the CAT and ZAP. IFT will be somewhere in between these two exams. But yes, when you're preparing for the exam, if you're going to write all the exam, it makes sense to you know, focus on CAT exam first with two reasons. One is uh, CAT is more difficult the moment you prepare for CAT, almost all the other exams gets prepared for. And second, CAT has more number of colleges than any other exam. So because of which maybe or more number of good colleges and because of which maybe first focus on CAT build that will help you today. If you're not trying to write CAT in that at all, then you can directly jump to the easier level questions of SNAP and MAT, etc. And if you're preparing for easy exams or easy level of count, then SNAP, NMAT, CMAT, the other exams, you can write that for sure. Hope that helps. Thank you.